kudos for coming in, meeting when it's not mandatory and it's a day off. So good on you for that. Um, obviously, like I said, it's a day off. It's a day off for me too. So you'll have to excuse my appearance and the background noise because my family's here. So uh, it is what it is. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is present my screen. Let's see here. All right. Can someone confirm that they can see my screen? I can see it. Yes. Perfect. All right. So what you're going to do, the easy part anyway, obviously you go over here. You know, here I am in, um, on my online, right? We're talking about I'm going to use module one as the first or as the example since that's the first one. You can see right here we go to lab one. This part's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this part, but I'm going through it anyway, just in case. Obviously, right here, I don't know what it looks like on your end, but you can see right here on the left side of the screen, that is where the document is. And on my end, when I click it, it downloads it. So I'm going to wait a second. It's There it goes. It's going to download, and then there we go. It pops up. So all you're going to have to do, well, first of all, let me enable editing. Enable editing. For every single lab we do, um, let me think. Yeah, they're all online. So you're either doing an online like a virtual experiment like you do this week when you do the goldfish thing, or you're going to go online and use websites that are out there to collect data. Cause that's what experiments are anyway, right? You're going out, you're collecting data, usually through an, or excuse me, in an experiment, you collect data, but in, in some, some cases in this class, rather than manipulating any kind of thing for an experiment, you're just collecting data that's already been put out there, but we'll talk about that later. So anyway, all you need to do, and these things is literally use the sheet that I've given you. So obviously you're going to need Microsoft Office for this to work. And if you don't have it, contact me. I can help you. You're a student. You can get it for free. So let's say for this one, for example, the first two questions in this first lab are you need to choose a hypothesis. So I'm just going to choose the first one to make it easy. Um, control U, right? I've underlined it. You can do that. Control B, I bolded it. Or maybe go up here, highlight it, you know, whatever it is. Just do what you have to do to make sure I know which one you chose um, for the multiple choice. And that's how you're going to handle multiple choice questions. So are there any questions on how to handle multiple choice questions? No. Okay. No. Uh, the next part, again, this is general. I'm not specifically showing you how to do experiment one. I can, just not on this recording. But you would have pulled up the, uh, the website, gone through the instructions uh, to perform the experiment. And then you literally just put your data in here, right? So right here, you know, it asks you what temperature it is. So if your temperature says it's 27 degrees Celsius, you put that there. And then you count the number of breaths, right? So you're just putting in data. And right now I'm just putting in numbers, whatever. So that's it, right? Just put in numbers. That's it. You fill the whole thing out. Same here. Um, this part's a little bit more complicated. And, you know, a lot of your experiments will have you do this. Excuse me. A lot of your labs will have you do this where you have to do a graph. That's a whole different discussion, too. You can see there's links. You can click those links, and I give you instructions on how to make graphs. Um, and again, if you have questions, let me know. But right now, this, this video is very much a broad overview of just how to do online labs in general. And then you'll have a lot of questions like this, right? I'll ask you a question, like question 14 here. It asks you a question. And then right here under it, there's little boxes, and you just fill it in. Um, I'll do question 15 as a better example. Because it actually asks you a question. Describe how the fish's respiration rate changed with the temperature. Did it increase? As temperature increased, did it decrease? Whatever. So that's where you would type it in, right? Because yes, blah, whatever it is, you type it in. And you go through the whole lab that way, all the labs. You go through them all. Type in everything that it asks you to type in. You know, Put in your data anywhere it asks you to put in data. Make a graph anywhere it asks you to make a graph. And then up here at the top left, hit file, save as. Um, just to keep things simple, I'm going to save it as the desktop. Um, I'm going to put my name on it. Not that, not that you need to, because as long as you are uploading it, I'm going to know it's yours, but whatever. There's my name. Every single lab that you do, you need to save it as a word before you upload it. Or excuse me, as um, a PDF document before you upload it. If you want to know why, I can talk about that later. But for now, just trust me. Save it as a PDF. Save. And that's it. And now it's saved. And here's the part where I'll need your help because, again, on my end, things look different, right? So I don't know what it looks like on your end. So what I could use from you, from either one of you, 
if you could share your screen and then go in here and do exactly what I did. Download the document, type a couple of things, save it as a PDF, and then upload it. Because again, I don't know what it looks like on your end. It would be great to have this recorded so I can show people. And obviously, what you're turning in is not going to be what I'm graded. So what I'm grading. So you know, don't worry about that. Just go ahead and do that if you can. Do I have any volunteers for that? And if you want, you know, I can walk you through it. <clears throat> I mean, I'll do it. I don't care. I just don't know how to upload it on my screen though. For you to see. Oh, perfect. I can help you with that too. Thank you, Kenny. Yeah. All right. So at the bottom of your screen, you should see like from left to right, there's a little microphone icon and then a camera and then a closed caption and then a hand and then a little box with an arrow, right? Yeah. All right. So if you click that box with an arrow, it should give you some options. It should say something like present your whole screen or present a tab. So that's up to you. If you want to do your whole screen or if you've already got the tab pulled up, you can choose that. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. I can see your screen. Perfect. Okay. Excuse me. Let me go back to it here. So while he's pulling this up, I'll mention this. Sometimes I have students who print it out and do it by hand and then take pictures of it and upload that as, a, as one PDF document, then you can do that. It's definitely harder on my end, and I would assume it's harder on your end too, but I don't know. All right, so here he is. He's opened the file. You can just answer some questions. And again, obviously, like I said, I'm not going to grade you on this. So anyway, yeah, like I said, some students do do that. If you feel like you must do that, go ahead. I also have some students, and I don't know why they do this, but it seems like rather than taking this worksheet and doing it by editing it, right, like I showed you, like he's doing it, you highlight this or underline this and you fill in the boxes. Some students just like on a completely different document just write the answers, which again is harder for me because I need to see the question that I wrote and then the answer because otherwise I'm trying to refer back and forth. So it seems like when you do that, it would be harder for the student and obviously for me too. So I recommend not doing that as well. If you can, you know, just do it like I've shown you, take the document, edit it, save it, upload it. So that's good. I, and Kenny, in my opinion, you've done enough. So you've made some changes. Yeah. So if you just want to save it now as a PDF. Sure. And while he's doing that, does anybody have questions so far? No. You guys are easy. I like it. Oh, export as a PDF, maybe? Yeah, probably can. Uh, I'm actually on my uh, Apple computer. I was about to say, that, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I have a, a Windows as well that I'll use for schoolwork, but okay, I'll probably have to go back. Uh, I'll probably have to get on that one to actually save it and se uh, send it to you. Right. But what the, the part where you were at, if you go mm -hmm. back to that, I don't know if you noticed, but it said like right under where you chose. See, export as PDF. Do you see that? Scroll down a little. Do you know? If, yeah, up a little. Yeah. You know, do you know if that'll work? I'm not sure. If you really want to know the truth, I really don't use my Apple. Right. Desktop. Well, this is good. This is good because, you know, it'll show uh, yeah, yeah, how I to do it, it on a Mac as well. Yeah. Some people use Macs. I do too, just not for, for um, work stuff. Right. <laughs> so anyway, he saved it. Right. Now you want me to upload it to you? Is that sure. You or at least show what it looks like when you do the uploading. Okay. Okay. As a matter of fact, you don't even need to hit the submit button. We'll bring it all the way up to that point and pretend like you hit the submit button or whatever the button may be. Again, I don't know what it looks like on your end, so I'm very interested to see. And obviously, before you do anything, I want to mention something else. So you're doing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, before you hit that button, I also want to pit, point out that sometimes when you do that, you know, it shows what your files are. And I don't know what kind of thumbnails you have. Just point that out there because you know, yeah. everybody's going to see your list of files. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So actually, as a matter of fact, yeah, there you go. Yes. So there you go. You choose the file. You pretend that you chose one or you can really choose one. It doesn't matter. 
There you go. You upload it. Obviously, like I said before, if this was a real life situation, you would save it as a PDF first. Right. <clears throat> there we go. So he's uploaded it. Nice. File submission. And then, yeah. Actually, do you mind hitting save changes so I can see what it looks like? Sure. You have some... Mm, whatever. So I guess that's it, right? You have existing submission data. Please leave the page and try again. Uh, I don't know what that means. But so I assume I assume that's all you need to do. Yeah. Um, and then once it's up, once it's uploaded, then I get to look at it. I'll send you back some grades, some feedback. Um, and if there's any mistakes on it, usually you can fix it. But I'll talk about that um, tomorrow when, when we talk about the syllabus. So it is now, pretty simple, right? Does anybody have any questions? I do have a question. Yeah, uh, good. Okay, uh, when we do, uh, of course, go through the whole criteria for uh, the actual lab itself um, at the beginning of it. So it does have an actual link for the virtual lab itself. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So just choose that and then just go through. I, I assume it's self-explanatory. Yeah, um, it'll be step by step. It'll show you like, you know, first do this and click this and click that. Okay. It'll be very self-explanatory. Okay. That's all. On that note, it's a good time to remind everybody, and I'll say this again tomorrow. Even though this is all mine and generally you kind of just do your own thing, that's the way it usually is, but it doesn't have to be. If you want my help, you can either just drop in while I'm in my office hours and just do what we're doing right now, except maybe not talking. Just have me in the background and just do your work. And then as you might have a question, like, hey, you know, since we're right here, hey, can you explain this to me? I'm more than willing to help. And obviously, if it's outside of office hours, I can do that too, except we'll just need to arrange a time to meet like we have today. But other than that, you know, my office hours are literally just like real office hours. You can just drop in online. I'm here to help. You don't have to do any of this alone. Discussions. Well, the exam you have to do alone. But even that, you could, with the exam, you could say, hey, can you clarify this question? Make sure I understand it correctly. But, yeah, generally speaking, all the things I can help you with, the discussions, um, labs, quizzes, you don't have to do it alone. Can I ask you a question about the quizzes in general? Yeah. Yeah, um, I would assume any chap, you know, of course, the, you know, our materials come from our textbook that we have. Uh, any kind of terms that are highlighted would be good to know those. So to say. I think so. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while since I wrote the quizzes. I right. will say this. The quizzes come from your publisher, the textbook, the people mm -hmm. who publish your textbook. They give us actually they give us exams. So they give like, you know, exam for chapter one, exam for chapter two. And what I've done is taken those questions they've given me verbatim, copied it and pasted it. So okay. those questions are coming directly verbatim. <laughs> Little dog. Uh, they're coming verbatim from your uh, publisher. And to be honest, the exams are I've taken those questions they've given me and I've reworded them. So everything is, yeah, it's coming directly from your um, from your book. Yeah. Good question. Anything else? All right. So for those of you who are here and anybody who's watching the video, um, send me an email. Well, Kenny, Jeanette, Tiffany, all you have to do is send me an email and say, hey, I'm sending you an email to claim my one point of extra credit. And for anybody watching the video, send me an email and also in the email include a little bit of something that kind of indicates that you watched it. Like tell me something that nobody would know unless they watched it. And that's it. So no other questions? Yep. All right. Well, then I'll see you when I see you and you guys stay warm out there. Thank you. Thank you. Stop, Jack.